these are the supplies we're gonna use parchment paper and a clear packing tape of course you need something to put your sticker on such as this bottle although it seems like uh, I don't have much room left on this one oh well I will talk about two methods today the first method I want to talk about today is to make your own creations with watercolor or marker or colored pencils I'm going to use watercolor and marker today and of course some ink pen but on the second part I'm going to talk about how to make smaller stickers because it's impossible to make small stickers with your pen or with your watercolor you know you can only work on certain sizes so here you see me adding all these layers for my three kinds of stickers one of them will be a very cute donkey the other one will be a dog and the third one is flowers after i made the layers i go over it with my ink pen to contour them and that gives this much more cartoony look to it and i really love using ink pen with watercolor You need to make sure that your watercolor is completely dry before you go and apply your ink or marker on it. I used a little bit of blow dryer here, that's the trick. And now they look ready. What we will do first is to cut out these stickers and then cut our parchment paper in a rectangular shape and stick our tape on it just like this taping it to our table and put our sticker in a way that there is still room left between the sticker and the tape and I'm going to stick one more tape on top of it and make sure you press firmly there we don't want tape to fold there or bulge we want as flat as possible and now as a final step we are going to cut out again but make sure that you leave some room around your sticker because this is the part that two tapes stick to each other and this way your sticker will stay in put there we go now you can remove the parchment paper and stick your sticker wherever you want you need to remember though it needs to be a parchment paper not a wax paper i tried and it doesn't work now let's do our two other stickers because they are a little bit different i will explain why i apply two tapes here because my donkey was a little bit wider than i thought so i just want to make sure that it's just going to fit there comfortably so i'm adding two tapes here and then i put my sticker and i stick the tape on top but see i forgot one thing uh oh the parchment paper <laughs> that was the first step and i forgot about that don't worry you can always add it later now i'm taking the measurements and i'm cutting it out i remove the tapes gently here add the parchment paper Make sure that it fits and there's still room between the sticker and the parchment paper boundaries. Okay, press it as much as I can, as hard as I can, and remove it. Of course, again, while cutting, you have to make sure that you have enough room around the edges. just like this even more if you can actually and now I'm thinking about where to stick this one maybe hmm, I have a journal that I can use that will work here we go remove the parchment paper so easily and stick here perfect oh it looks so cute these would make such great gifts guys with this dog i want to show you that if you have a wide sticker not long but wide what can you do you can do sideways 
just like this. And same process, nothing is different. You can cut it out and stick it. If you're sending a birthday card, if you are you know, saying thank you to someone or get well soon, or if you're decorating your new journal, these are great additions. What if you want smaller stickers? What you gonna do? You cannot paint that small. Well, go to PowerPoint. This is the easiest one, of course. If you know Photoshop, go for it, guys. Then you go to design and then you select a four paper and portrait. You can say ensure fit. Then you're gonna insert your high resolution photo of your artwork. Of course, if it is not tilted like this, your job will be easier, but I only had this photo for the fall theme. So I am cropping it. I'm just rotating it so that it becomes a more visible and like a more suitable square to print on this paper. Yeah, I'm just going to put it right here. You can make it even smaller or bigger. You can change it to your taste and maybe even increase the saturation a little bit. This is what we want to get in the end. Try different sizes with this. I'm putting in a sheet of white paper and print. Don't forget to save it as PDF guys because that gives the highest saturation of the colors. Now I have this one right here. Let's try this one. I really like this minivan. I cut it out just like what I did with the watercolor ones. I put it on the parchment paper. I stick my tape over it. And I cut it around. And now you can stick it anywhere you want. This is my watercolor, so perfect. And for complicated images such as this too, you can always scan and then make it smaller, print it and make a DIY sticker again. So easy. But guys, if you cut it too close, this is what happens. You don't want this to happen, okay? I hope you found this video helpful and every week I continue to share art tutorials for you. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and continue watching for more. Bye.